Let's look at the hydrogen-like energy systems. Now, when I say hydrogen-like, I mean the one electron systems. Hydrogen, a proton and an electron, that's a complete hydrogen atom. But you could also have a helium atom, two protons, two electrons. Take one of the electrons off, a helium ion, He plus, and that's hydrogen-like because it's a one electron system. Or you could go lithium plus two. Those, as you have one electron systems, they all behave just like hydrogen atoms. So let's look at those. Which ion does the energy level diagram X correspond to? So here's hydrogen, and near it, some unknown ion X is that unknown ion X, H plus, He plus, or Li plus two. Think about that for a second and make a selection. Let's look at some possible arguments. So for A, removing an electron from hydrogen to make H plus causes the N equal 1 level to drop in energy. Or for B, He plus has Z equal 2, so its N equal 2 level should align with the hydrogen N equal 1 level. Or 3, lithium plus 2 has the largest Z. It should have the lowest N equal 1 energy level. Consider those three arguments and make another selection. Now, when we look at energy levels, in a quantized system like a hydrogen atom, the energies are given by n, the principal quantum number. So the energies go as z squared over n squared with a minus sign, r infinity. As n increases, the energy level gets closer and closer to 0. So let's look at this one in particular. Here we have hydrogen and some other ion. Now, what lines up here, we know that the energies go as minus z squared over n squared. And we see in this system that level 2 in the unknown system lines up with level 1 in the hydrogen system. And that energy 1 for this system is 1 squared over 1 squared times i infinity. That's the hydrogen atom. For this one, it has to be something over something to still give me minus r infinity. The value of z is undetermined here because we don't know which ion it is, but the value of n is 2. So to make this equal minus r infinity, the value of z must also be 2. So that determines what the ion is. Remember, once you determine the number of protons, you determine the identity of the nucleus you're talking about. So if it has two protons, I don't care what else it has in it, it is a helium nucleus. So a helium plus 2, or a helium plus, is the ion that would have this configuration on its electronic energy scale. Z will be 2 for helium.